today I'm at Porsche Huntington in Huntington, New York, and I was just handed the key to this 2019 Porsche 911 GT3 RS in lizard green. Here's the window sticker for the car. It is pre-owned. It has 833 miles on it, and it is for sale for $251,000. So if anyone's interested, come to Porsche Huntington and see Mark. But today, I'm going to be sharing five facts you should know about the 911 GT3 RS. Fact number one, this is the sixth generation of the Porsche GT3 RS and it's the most powerful one yet. It has a naturally aspirated 4 liter flat 6 engine that produces 520 horsepower, which is 20 more horsepower than that in the previous generation GT3 RS and the 911 GT3. This car also has a top speed of 193 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of just 3 seconds flat. Fact number 2. The weight reducing YSAC package is an $18,000 option on the GT3 RS and it shaves about 40 pounds off of the car. And that's due to the anti-roll bars on the front and rear axles, their coupling rods, and the roof being made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic. The front lid is also made of carbon fiber reinforced plastic, and so are the paddle shifters and trim on the inside of the car. So if we take a look here, you can see the front lid of the car is completely carbon fiber. It's technically carbon fiber reinforced plastic, so that's one of the distinctions between a regular GT3 RS and a YSAC GT3 RS is if it has the carbon fiber front lid, but you can also get the front lid painted in the exterior color, which in this case is lizard green. You also have carbon fiber on the roof and on the rear wing as well as on the mirror housings. So like I mentioned, the YSAC package for this car cost $18,000 and it does shave 40 pounds off of the car. And to save even more weight, Porsche's vehicle developers have even made the carpet trim lighter, which we'll be checking out shortly. And with this package, you also get the YSAC package logo on the headrests and the plaque on the cup holder cover. This GT3 RS has the standard 911 GT3 RS wheels in satin black with a lizard green outer lip. These are center lock wheels and this specific GT3 RS has yellow brake calipers. So these wheels are standard, but you can also get the $13,000 magnesium wheels, which shave even more weight off of the car. So for the GT3 RS, you can get the YSAC package with the optional $13,000 magnesium wheels, or without them. And the YSAC package was first offered in a similar form for the 918 Spider. Fact number three. This generation of GT3 RS is the most aerodynamically improved one yet. Optimum cooling is provided by large air intakes on the front ends of the car. And the fixed rear wing in carbon fiber reinforced plastic produces tremendous downforce at the rear axle and helps to provide high driving stability even at the top speed which is 193 miles per hour. The extra air outlet ahead of the front lid increases flow through the center radiator and by diverting the airflow simultaneously reinforces aerodynamic downforce at the front axle. So from the fifth generation to the sixth generation, the GT3 RS has definitely improved aerodynamically. The front spoiler lip is now even wider than the lip of the predecessor model, which also increases downforce. The side skirts have also been widened, which has enlarged the overall surface area of the underbody to aid in increasing downforce. These black slats of the wheel arch vents have the effect of reducing the overpressure generated by the turning wheels, which thereby improves the downforce of this vehicle. Fact number four, the NACA air intakes on the front lid are new to this GT3 RS, so here they are. They're used to supply air to the brakes and that's without negatively affecting the drag coefficient. So air comes in and then it's diverted to cool the carbon ceramic brakes. The shape of these ducts on the front lid was developed by NACA, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, which is the precursor to NASA. And fact number five, the rear silencer and tailpipes are made of titanium and are integral to the characteristic sound of this car. And we're gonna start it off in just a little bit so you can hear that sound. Also something to note, the wing uprights painted in black are made of forged aluminum. The two tailpipes are positioned in the center and this car has a sports exhaust system. So now that we ran through five things you should know about the 911 GT3 RS. Let's take a look at the outside of this car. 
So like I mentioned, it is in lizard green. In addition to carbon fiber on the mirrors, you also have carbon fiber here in the window triangle. You've got an air intake just behind the door. So here's the key. It has three basic functions. You can unlock the car, you can lock the car, and you can open the front trunk. So if we lock the car, if we unlock the car, so now let's take a look at the inside. So this GT3 RS has a sick interior. You've got black and a lizard green leather and Alcantara. You've got lizard green seat belts, carbon fiber illuminated GT3 RS door sills. And these are the carbon fiber bucket seats, which aren't as comfortable as the comfort seats, but they undeniably look cooler. So although these are great for when you're on the track, they're not very comfortable for city driving. But you have to admit, they look pretty sick. You've got the YSAC RS logo on the headrests and green stitching all throughout this interior, including on the doors. You also have black Alcantara on the doors, a little storage net down there, and this is the loop to open the door. So you don't have a proper door handle, you just have this loop. So let's hop in. So right now I'm sitting inside the Lizard Green 911 GT3 RS, and it is pre-owned, but this thing is in immaculate condition. The steering wheel is completely Alcantara with the green stitching and a Lizard Green 12 o'clock center marker, and that's also Alcantara. You've got green in the center here near the gear lever, and a Lizard Green Alcantara on the seats. Like I mentioned earlier, you have that carbon fiber trim that runs from the doors to the dash, and you have the YSAC RS plaque on the cup holder cover. So this is where the cup holders are stored. You just press that and then you can pop out your cup holders. When you no longer need them, you can just put them back in just like that. So since we have the key, let's put it in the ignition so we can start the infotainment. What's special about this GT3 RS that not many GT3 RSs have are these air vent slats in the exterior color. So these air vent slats are lizard green and they're on all the AC vents, which looks super cool. And it's small details like that that really bring the interior together. The dashboard is completely leather with this green stitching and you've got the chrono stopwatch on the dashboard. You've got Alcantara A pillars and an Alcantara roof liner. You also have an Alcantara center center console and carbon fiber trim surrounding the center control stack where you have buttons for ESC, ESC plus traction control, suspension, PDK sport, exhaust valves, and the front axle lift system. You also have buttons for hazard lights and to lock or unlock the car. You've got your gear lever here with Alcantara on top. And right in front of that, you've got your climate control buttons and switches. So if we want to turn up the air, or if you want to lower it. And you've got this little screen in the center here to tell you your current fan speed setting and the temperature for both the driver's side and the passenger side, which can be adjusted here. So once you get to 60, it just says low. Right above that, you have the buttons for the infotainment system. So if we press home, this is the home screen with tuner, media, phone, navigation, map, sound, apps, and car. And this is touch screen, so if we go to media, you can connect your phone via Bluetooth to the car to pull up your music. And you don't have to actually touch the screen if you don't want to. You can just press the buttons down here. And let's say we're on navigation and you want to change between the different boxes. You can just use this turn dial right here. And the turn dial on the left here is for the volume. If we go to tuner, if we go to source, you can change the source. You can connect your phone via Bluetooth to make phone calls or receive phone calls. You can put in a destination for navigation. You can pull up the car settings and you can just swipe between the different pages. Or if you don't want to touch the screen, you can use this turn dial. If we go to map, you can pull up a map and drag it around with your fingers. To return to where you currently are, just press that. And if we go home, there's the home screen. So you've got some storage in the center console. You also have storage in the glove box. 
with a USB port to charge your phone and you have a storage net on each door in addition to all of that you do have a good amount of space behind the seats for bags or whatever you want to put back there and you also have a storage compartment here in addition to the net back here up here you've got your cabin lights and you've got these carbon fiber paddle shifters. To the left of the steering wheel, you've got your headlight switch and your ignition. And then you've got quite a few dials in the instrument cluster. The center one is the tachometer with the miles per hour displayed down there. The one to the left is the speedometer with your odometer displayed down there. The one all the way to the left is your oil temperature. The one to the right of the tachometer is your digital screen. And the one all the way to the right is your gas gauge and your engine temperature. And over there is an exclusive series 911 Turbo S Coupe and there's only 500 of those in the world but the Cabriolet version is more exclusive than the Coupe with only 200 units worldwide and I actually made a video on that car if you haven't seen it yet be sure to check it out to get out of the car you just pull this loop on the door and then push the door outwards to open it so Porsche did this to save weight just like they tried to save weights on the carpet trim So that's the 2019 Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.